Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number six, and today we are returning with two more games with the Galaxy as we face Nottingham Forest away from home in the Championship and then Coventry City in the EFL Cup as well. And also, in today's episode, we're going to try and make some new signings as well because we're still in the transfer window. It's episode number six, and we're not out of the window yet because we're basically signing a whole new team. But I feel like we need to speed things up a little bit, try and get out the window, and uh, crack on with the season, really. So, in today's episode, we'll try and make some new signings and uh, we'll try try and speed things up. Now, of course, in the last few episodes, well, since the series began, really, I've been asking you guys for transfer suggestions. You guys just keep on giving me so many suggestions for new players to sign. As you can see, loads of players have been added to the shortlist, and uh, to start today's episode, I think we'll play the first game against Nottingham Forest, but Lyndon Gooch, lots of you guys have been saying you've got to get the Sunderland wide midfielder, because he has had a fantastic start in League One this year, and uh, he'll certainly be my, uh, my number one target for today's episode. But uh, first game, Nottingham Forest, let's dive straight into it. Chance for into Forest, gone Calvish going for goal, shot blocked, not fully clear, oh lovely fake shot, he's done me, he's done me there with a fake shot, I thought he was pulling the trigger, Trusty brings him down, penalty for Nottingham Forest, right call. Cool. I am absolutely awful at defending in this year's FIFA, and from the penalty kick, it's into the back of the net, it's 1-0, and we trail 14 minutes in, my fault. For all the things that EA have got wrong with Korea over the past two or three years, we needed ultimate difficulty, and I'm so glad they bought it this year, it's such a bigger challenge, and I'm really liking it, and here come Forest again, oh great, Great save by Zach. We are backpedaling right now. Come on to the middle. Flicked on. And again, Stefan with the save. Bailing me out. Just cannot get a danger clear at the moment. Forrest keeping hold of that ball. Retaining possession. Looking to find openings and chances. Like right there off the post. How is it only 1-0? Started the season off undefeated. Playing so well. Not in a forest away. And we're getting torn apart here at the city ground. Barham's crossing the middle. Header comes in. Into the back of the net. 2-0. I cannot stop him. There is such little creativity out there. we got some good strikers, but what we're really lacking right now is that sort of creative player, because we've got Kitchen playing Cam. He's a defensive midfielder by trade. We need someone to open the doors. Jameson, can he keep it in play? He should do. He's got space to cross. In it goes. And oh, what a goal. A minute to go. Way up. Unbelievable. Come on. I was hammering down circle, but I was trying to win it with Ariola at the back stick. Instead, Weyer went for it himself. Oh, yes. What technique. It would just be a consolation goal as Forrest play it backwards to kill the clock and kill the game off. But uh, I, was, I was aiming for Ariola. I was aiming for Ariola at the far post, and it was way up with an incredible goal. 2-1, though. First loss of the series. Just, just couldn't stop for us in this game. Eight shots, seven on target, 60% possession and 91% pass accuracy. Getting the ball off Nottingham Forest in this game was almost impossible. Man the match Sudani uh, with his brace, but uh, way his bicycle kick. All game long, he waited for one chance and then he did that. I'm loving this kid, man. The, the president, that's what we're calling him from now on, the president. I'm loving him. Right, well, we need someone to cheer us up now after that game. So uh, I'm going to go in for Gucci. Uh, you guys kept on saying you've got to sign Lyndon Gooch. It will cost us around one and a half million pounds, I'd say. Right midfielder, Cam, listed positions, four-star weak foot. And we send the last game against Forrest. We need a creative player. I think this guy could be the one to fill in the Cam role and Fred balls through to our strikers. So uh, Lyndon Gooch, let's bring him in. Only two foreign players left here now, Felcher and Zlatan. And uh, we can swap Felcher for Gooch if we give him an extra 655 grand as well. And that deal is basically going to be valuation considering Felcher's valuation as well and that's an absolute steal and a bargain for us so perfect way to start the transfer negotiations off today that's a brilliant deal all right so contract is almost agreed uh, he wants seven grand a week we'll remove the appearance bonus but given the sign on bonus of 71 grand a week and he says that's totally fine so Gooch is in first signing today quickly done well done <laughs> did I just say well done <laughs> congratulating myself for doing a quick signing. That's how rare it is in my videos, like get through something without spending five minutes talking about the player's history. So one foreign player left now in Zlatan. Uh, I'm going to try and swap him before the window shut for either DeAndre Yedlin or John Brooks, most likely the former. But uh, Guccin, delighted with that. Uh, and again, I, I really think this guy, even though he's been playing right wing for Sunderland this season and, and been a big reason as to why they're doing quite well this year, I think Gucci should be playing through the middle as our cam and our as our creative player this year. I think he's got the stats to do that. It's either him or Ariola. But Ariola's got the high, high work rate, so I like that for the defensive coverage down the left hand side. So I think Gucci will be our cam this year. And I think threading balls through to Ware and Jameson, he'll relish in that role. Right, next up, Andrew Colton. Seen him coming to quite a few times. Uh, can play in a wide variety of positions. Only 18 years old. Already got some decent stats. Flair trait as well, you got to love that. And uh, 64 rated, plenty of room for growth. Let's bring him in. And Atlanta United only wants £790,000. Undervaluation. Perfect. 
And the contract negotiations finalised. Sporadic squad roll, four year deal, no release clause, three grand a week, and a sign on bonus of 25 and a half grand. That's totally fine with me. Cheap deal, quick signing, good stuff. Finally, 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 we're getting the squad depth for LA Galaxy now. There's still a long way to go. The window doesn't slam shut for a few more days, so plenty more time to make some more signings. And I think we need a new fullback for the reserves and a new striker as well, I would say. So, yeah, signings not done yet. Let's make some more. Now, Jack, I've been reading your comments. I know you want me to get Kiri Shelton from Sporting KC. Unfortunately, we don't have a scout report on him for the time being. But if we were to go after another striker, Jordan Morris could be absolutely perfect for this LA Galaxy team. He can play on the left side of the field, and the right side of the field. He's only 23 years old and I love the stats this guy's got. High, high work rates. You know I'm a sucker for those hard workers. 89 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 78 strength as well. So he's got the strength as well as the pace too and technically he's not terrible. With 77 shot power, he can blast them in. Jordan Morris, I'd, I'd love to pick this guy up. Let's bring him in. So Seattle Sounders say they want two and three quarter million plus a 10% sell-on clause and that is totally fine with me. Not much over the valuation. We'll take that deal. And we're offering him 16 grand a week with a sign on bonus of 100 grand as well. Important squad role, three year deal. And they say that's a fair offer. And Jordan is in. Might have overspent a little bit on the contract, but I'm totally fine with that. He's got the stats I love, and he'll be partnering up alongside Weyer, I'm sure. I think what we'll do is we'll have Jameson coming off the bench with uh, with Wright as well. And we'll have Akinola now as our fifth choice striker. And we'll have Morris starting up top alongside Weyer. Because again, high, high work rates, absolutely rapid, strong as well. There's very little downside to this guy. He's got to be in the first 11. And I think up top alongside Weyer would be perfect with Jameson on the bench and perhaps leading that second unit like we discussed a couple of episodes ago as well. So uh, yeah, Morris in, great signing. Right, so there's 3.37 million pounds left in the budget, 22 grand in the wage budget. So very little room left now to make new signings and we still have Zlatan no bids are coming in for him however I'm very tempted to try and swap Zlatan for DeAndre Yedlin at Newcastle because so I don't think that Wolfsburg would, would accept a straight swap deal there for uh, for Brooks I mean you can try but I don't think it's going to come off no harm in trying right may as well test the water and uh, we'll give Wolfsburg Zlatan and see if they're okay with that deal and they say yeah <laughs> But they want 15 and a half million as well. So not only do you want Zlatan, but you want an extra 15 and a half million, which is over Brooks' valuation right now. Forget it. Not even worth it. Ridiculous, that. Not going to accept that deal in my wildest dreams. Okay. Uh, we'll forget Brooks then. Should we, should we go after Yedlin? Should we go after Yedlin? Yedlin for Zlatan. Because, you know, we, we're going to sign Yedlin at some point. We can't sell Zlatan in the first window anyway. So we have to swap him. And Yedlin really is realistically the only guy I'll be comfortable swapping Zlatan for. 7.5 mil valuation, high medium work rates, three star, three star. Look at the pace that DeAndre Yedlin's got. 86 stamina as well. I'd love to bring this guy in, in the first season. And, and swapping him for Zlatan is the only way we'll be able to afford him. So let, let's go for it. Yedlin for Zlatan. Who says no? We don't care about Rafa. He don't care about us. That was such a weird time, wasn't it, when Chelsea had Benitez in charge. Right, here we go. Fingers across. Slatan for DeAndre Yedlin. Will Newcastle say yes? Oh, they will. And you know what? Just under a million pounds as well. Perfect. We can't sell Zlatan anyway. His value is going to keep on decreasing. So we might as well get him out of the club and, and, and pick him up, uh, pick up a new player for him and not pay much else as well. So, just under a million, plus Latan for Yedlin. It's a steal for both clubs, I think. I'll take that deal. Yes, Rafa. Come on, come on, come on. DeAndre Yedlin taking a step down and a pay cut to play with LA Galaxy. This is perfect. It'll be our fourth signing today and the best one as well. We'll remove that clean sheet bonus there. We'll offer him the 23 grand a week plus a 220 grand sign-on bonus. Crucial squad role, three-year deal, no release clause. He wants a wage increase, 25.5k, but it's still a pay cut under the circumstances. DeAndre Yedlin for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Perfect. And now we have a full American side. We finally got all the foreign players out and that's it. We're Finished. Come on! Definitely keeping an eye on Zlatan Ibrahimovic at St. James's Park this year, seeing how he gets on there at Newcastle. But uh, I think we should leave the signings there for today. Four signings in. There's still a few more players on the shortlist. We want to make one or two more signs for the window slam shut in three days, regardless. Uh, but I, I wouldn't mind going after one more player today. And Zelalem, I saw a comment for Zelalem in the last episode. He cost us very little money. His career stalled a little bit at the Emirates Stadium, but maybe he could revive it here at the Galaxy. Let's find out. Right, we'll offer 500 grand to begin with, under the valuation, and see what Arsenal say. And they say that's totally fine. All right, take it. All right, so a four-year deal, rotation squad role, uh, no release clause as well. And as for the money, 
He wants to take a pay cut, 8.4k a week. You can see he wants to get back to playing and uh, remove that bonus as well. Zellinem, of course, has some serious injuries. Such a shame for a really bright young talent. But uh, if he can resurrect his career here at the Stub Pub Centre, this could be a win-win for both the player and the club as well. So, 9 grand a week, 78 grand sign-on bonus, 4-year deal. Zellinem, can he resurrect his career with the Galaxy? That's what we're hoping for, and maybe for club and country as well. Fifth and final sign today, and I'll take it. And now the squad is getting thicker. Yes, now we're getting thicker. We've now got 26 players for the LA Galaxy this season. I would still like to get two or three more players before the window slams shut. However, I'm liking this. I'm liking this indeed. There's a nice little blend of youth and experience here as well. What with Timmy Howard on the bench too. And uh, I'm, I'm liking the setup. I'm liking the setup very much. So let's move into the second and final game of today's episode then. It's Coventry City in the EFL Cup. Uh, we'll field a week inside for the game and field a backup team. But there will be some debuts for our new signings as well. Let's see how we get on and see if we can bounce back with a win here against Coventry. Also, I haven't changed Howard's number yet. I know someone in the last episode asked me to change to 24. Uh, I'll do it at the end of the episode, I promise. True. Good guy, Doc's making those changes for the fans. But here comes Jones on the ball, down the right, cutting inside. And oh, it's in. Coventry in front already. Jeez, getting close to half time. We've done nothing in this first half. Once again, I'm finding it impossible to get the ball off the AI. Their passing is just perfect. In a way, I'm totally fine going out of this competition. I'm only worried about the championship in this our first season. But it's just frustrating how I just cannot stop the AI at the moment. And I can't create chance at all. We've not even been close to their penalty area in the entire game. Kelly through the gap to Brown, down the left-hand side and Brown looking for space to cross. In it goes. Clark carries his header. 2-0. Game's done. Get me out of this competition right now. Get me out of this competition right now. We're only worried about the championship. Has Hadji right? Oh, only chance we got and I blazed it into Rosette. Oh, oh, terrible ball. Jameson. 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 Yes, 2-1, maybe a chance. Leading this second unit by example. J. Jonah Jameson back out again. Deficit half, still time. Just like the game against Forrester, will probably be a consolation goal. Clark Harris to Jordi Hawila. Ball cut out. And here is Hadji. Through to Jameson down the right. Can he beat Willis to the ball? Go on, Jameson. Yes, nice turn. Good cross. Right header. Wide the post. Oh, Jameson's pulled up. God damn it. And that'll do it. Final score. Galaxy 1, Coventry 2. Hadn't lost all series. Then back-to-back -back defeats out of the EFL Cup. Not really too fast. Coventry definitely deserved the win. But as soon as Jameson went off, we had no chance in getting back into it. He's the leader of the second team. And uh, it was our star man out there today. But I'll give man a match to Abu Agogo, though. And uh, wake me up. A boo, a go, go. That's got to be a chant. But 2-1, uh, uh, the final score at the EFL Cup. But again, not fast. There's, there's 46 games in the championship season. That's a long, long, long season for us. And uh, with this small squad, we could do about the extra game. So going out the Caribou Cup, not too fast at all. But that was today's episode of Club and Country, guys. So big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode, then please drop a like. As likes are always very much appreciated. Oh, God, how bad is the injury for, for James in three weeks? Not terrible. But uh, thanks for watching, regardless. Have an awesome Saturday night, guys. Uh, much love to you all. And in the next episode, we'll end the transfer window, finally. Uh, play a couple more games with the Galaxy and uh, possibly make one or two more signings to our still pretty small squad as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, though, guys. Have a great night. And uh, I'll see you for the next episode very soon.